Welcome back to DA Griffin Hobby. My name's Dave, and we've got some awesome stuff to look at today. So where did this stuff come from? Well, that's a valid question. Well, you see, I guess what I'm doing with these videos is helpful to people, and I think that's fantastic. I think that's about the best compliment I can get is that I helped somebody with something or that I inspired them to do A, B, and C or even just get back into the hobby. That's really just the best feedback I can get. It just, it, it makes it all the work to do all these videos totally worthwhile. So one of my viewers, uh, one of you fabulous people out there, wanted to say thank you and pass on some items that he was no longer using. I really still don't believe that somebody has given me this stuff. I mean, that's just really amazingly generous. But then it just goes to show you what wonderful people there are in this hobby. I have met so many fantastic people and it's just been one of the most positive and supportive groups that I've had the pleasure to deal with. So thank you to all of you who watch and interact and say hi when, I, when I'm out at shows. I, I really appreciate it. But also thank you to this one particular gentleman for passing on these awesome items. What's in these boxes? Well, I have not opened them yet. Uh, that was part of the stipulation was that I had to open them on camera. So yes, it says what they are on the box and whatnot, but I have not opened them to see what they look like. But we're gonna start with this one on top. The box is a little rough. <laughs> so difficult too. When the flaps fell off, that's okay. You probably know how I feel about boxes anyway. It's very exciting. So I, I did look up a little bit about these engines um, just to kind of figure out when they're from and what the features might be to know what I'm dealing with. And this engine is from 1993 and it is a little stuck in the foam box and I really don't want to damage it. The train, not the foam box. Real coal load, you can tell because some of it has come loose, but it still looks good. It's a big tender, look at the size of that. It's a big one, 4100. Do you know which engine this goes to? 4100 from 1993. You know what it is yet? Serious question. Do these foam boxes shrink over time? So I feel like with this and some of the Williams stuff, it's like the trains don't fit in them anymore. Is it just a tight fit or does the foam contract? I honestly don't know. I'm sure somebody out there has an idea. When I can finally get this out of the box, we'll take a look at it. There we go. It's free. And it will probably never go back in the box. Eight drive wheels, red cab roof. The front is a grayish color. You'll have to pardon me if I just start like maniacally giddy laughing. Just a little tickled at the moment. So what is it, Dave? It is the 4100 Frisco Mikado. Check that out. That is not something I expected to see in my collection. Look at that. It's got a scale coupler on the front. Does it work? I have no idea. It's not like I have other scale couplers to check. Other than showing some signs of being run on the underside of the engine, this thing looks immaculate. But does it work? Well, I would hope so. <laughs> Let's find out. Usually helps if you plug in your transformer. This thing is awesome going around the layout. Cleared everything ex except for the far corner 
that I'm working on. I forgot how close the foam was to the track. Uh, nothing would have cleared it. So this engine's gonna clear everything just fine. It's got directional lighting, which is pretty neat. The headlight's nice. The marker lights light up. The firebox glow. The noise it makes is pretty good. I haven't checked the whistle and the bell because I'm using a horribly outdated and partially malfunctioning transformer. So uh, I'm just taking it easy at the moment. This definitely has a lot of writing on the box. Things I buy usually don't have that much writing. This is the Frisco 282 Mikado steam locomotive, 6-18030. And like I said, I'm pretty sure that's from 1993. It's got a super detailed die cast metal cab, brass and steel accents, firebox glow, interior cab detail, operating smokestack and steam chest, opening boiler front, metal wheels on the pilot and trailing trucks. Well, I should hope so. Who would want plastic wheels? Brake shoe detail, die cast drive wheels with steel rims, constant voltage headlight and backup light, illuminated marker lights, powerful motor that will run on AC or DC current, which is good because if it was DC, it wouldn't work on my layout. Transformer controlled forward neutral reverse operation. It's my kind of train. Operating die cast knuckle coupler on the rear of the tender. Stamped metal frame, die cast trucks. Directional backup lighting, real coal load. Steam rail sounds. Sound activation button to trigger the rail sounds on your layout. Volume control for rail sounds. Authentic Frisco markings, 22 inches long. Operates on 031, which I'm surprised by. Engineer and fireman figures and smoke fluid is in the box as well. I can't tell you what my favorite features are yet because really, I, this is the first time I'm seeing it. And I'm just a little too overwhelmed at the moment to probably focus on specifics. I really like the look of the drive rods and everything on the side. They look really nicely done, detailed. I like the separately applied details here. Very neat, I like that ladder. That ladder is cool. The lever for the pin on the coupler is pretty neat. It's got that on the front and the back. It's also my first Mikado, which I've wanted one. Not necessarily, this isn't necessarily the one I was looking at. Probably I was, I think there's an MPC version of a Southern engine that's a Mikado. That's probably, if that's, if that's what it is, that, I think that's what I'm thinking of. But this is so much cooler. I mean, it has a tether. My engines don't come with tethers. They come with a wire and a little connector on it. All right, so. Let's get a closer look at this thing. I'm gonna take some pictures and some video and we'll check it out.
I know this isn't modern as far as what's available today, but if this is what it's like to have stuff newer than post-war and NPC, something with rail sounds, and it's not just the sound of static, uh, something that's more scale and detailed, I don't know, I could be in trouble. <laughs> I absolutely love my post-war and NPC era Hudson's, but man, running this thing around the layout, I'm just having fun, it's awesome. He also gave me a box of some buildings that he had custom painted and a caboose. And this caboose does not go to the Frisco engine. It goes to the other engine, which I think I've run out of time for in this video. We all just might have to wait until the next video. To give you a little hint as to what's in the other big box that we just aren't getting to today, we got this Weaver caboose that he gave me. A Redding 92830. So that'll give you something to think about. What's in this other box? You'll have to wait and see. Once again, thank you so much for gifting these items to me. You know who you are and you're fantastic. <laughs> You've got an open invite to visit my layout anytime you like, just let me know. And for everybody else, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your comments and your suggestions and everything else and just the time that you take to watch my videos. So please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the channel with your friends if they haven't seen it yet. And I'll see you next time on DA Griffin Hobby.